Bible says that we are gods and he has given us power to do great and mighty things and he in heaven would back us up. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 says we should put on the whole armor of God that you be able to Stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 14 says, We should stand therefore having our loins great about with truth and having on the breastplates of righteousness, the shield of faith, and on our feet shot with the preparation of gospel of faith. It also says that we should take on the gospel of peace, taking the shield of faith where we shall be able to quench the fairy darts of the wicked. And also we take on the helmet of righteousness and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Beloved, your protection is only in God because the Bible says he that breaketh an edge shall the serpent bite. I need you to understand that staying within the ranks of the word of God will keep you away from the plans of the enemy. And therefore, I need you to join me in this prayer so that we'll pray for God's continuous protection for us to stay only within His purview. Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, I come to you in the name of Jesus, thanking you for the protection that is in the name of Jesus. You say that the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous runs into it and is saved. Lord, you did not hide it from us. You openly told us what to do to remain protected. We know that you love us, but Lord, we know that you do not allow us to just walk about without your protection. And so, Lord, we ask you for grace to stay in line with what your word has said. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord God we will not stray and not allow the enemy take us off our ranks in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare the Lord God that continually our eyes and our ears to hear and see that which only you would guide us. The Bible says we are seated with Christ far above principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this earth. We pray the Lord God Almighty you give us the grace to stay in the reality of this truth in spite of whatever the devil will bring even when the billows toss and the storms will rage. Father, in the name of Jesus, we know sometimes it's tough to stay within the purview of your word. But Lord, you have said in your word, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Lord, you have given us victory even before we went to fight. And so, Lord God, we ask you that you expand the knowledge of this mighty word in us, knowing the Lord, we do not fight, but we fight from the point of victory because we know that Jesus has done it once and for all for us. And therefore, we will not fear what the enemy would bring. Father, we thank you, Lord God, because every of our weapons of warfare are around us. We are holding it knowing the Lord, we will not fall prey to the enemy. Father, we know that the advancement of the kingdom requires staying in line with the word. And so, Lord God, we put on ourselves, Lord, taking up the breastplate of righteousness, knowing the Lord we will not have allow sin to have dominion over us. That as we move on, Lord God, continually, we will go after your word and obedience to your word continuously because the breastplate of righteousness will keep us abreast to what you have us to do. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the shield of faith that is protecting us from the destruction and the fairy wells of the enemy. We thank you because our faith in Jesus, continually our eyes are fixed onto him. We will not stay away from that which you have given unto us. You said your word is yea and amen. 
We believe you, Lord God, even now in the name of Jesus. Our faith will not wither. We will not waver, Lord God, knowing that Jesus Christ is our all in all. Father, we thank you because we will not remove from our feet. Lord God Almighty, the shoes of faith, knowing that the preparation of the gospel of peace is the one that keeps us in your army. We decree and declare that as we wear the shoes, Father, continuously, when we meet people, we will speak of your salvation to them so that men will come to you, Lord. And we know that in so doing, continuously, Holy Spirit divine, you will keep us at peace in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because the gospel will not go dry in our mouths, because your word, Lord God, will not be scarce in our heart. Father, it shall be like sweet honey and the honeycomb in our mouth, because the psalmist said, the word of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. It is sweeter than the honey and the honeycomb. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that continually, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our shield of faith is the one quenching the fairy darts of the wicked. That when the enemy comes, we bring out the word and you will not have any power but to flee in the name of Jesus. Because it is written, you will come in one way and you will flee in seven more ways in the name of Jesus Christ. We wear upon our heads, Lord, the helmet of salvation, knowing that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary once and for all in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, because we have in our hand, Lord, the sword of the Spirit being held by the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because when we fight, the angels of the Lord are with us because they're encamping round about us. Thank you, Lord, because we have won them, Lord. We have the victory, even in our faith in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, because we are protected in you. We thank you because your word cannot be broken. You have said, Lord, you will be with us even to the end of the times. And so, Lord, we know that even as the world is going into dangerous position and the precipice, Lord, we know that our hearts are stayed with you. We will never be afraid what will become of us. We know already, Lord, that our end will be greater. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, because we are protected. Our children are protected. Our families are protected in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because we know that the Holy Ghost is helping us in everything and in every way in the name of Jesus. We look at the state of the world and we are not afraid because we know, Lord, that you have kept our spouses. We look at the state of the economy. We are not afraid, Lord, because we know you are keeping them in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that even in our workplaces, Lord, let everyone lose his job or our job, but you will keep ours for us because we are in you. In the name of Jesus, it is written, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Lord, we know that Christ is in us and our hope is glorious already. We thank you, Lord God, because our end is determined in your wisdom. Lord, we know that continually, Lord, we humbly stay in your care. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we admit, Lord God, that even in those days, Lord, as we follow your word, Lord, the angelic visitations will continually be our Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, strange things and powerful things in righteousness, those are the things that will do for us in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that continuously our homes are saved, our workplaces are saved, our businesses are saved, even with the distances between our homes, our children and our spouses and us. We know we are saved in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for the name of Jesus. We thank you because even in this thick darkness that is comprehending the earth, Lord, it cannot comprehend the light that you already surrounded us with in the name of Jesus. We bless your name. We thank you for travel safety everywhere in the world that we take up a journey to. Lord, we're going and coming 
because your name has already gone for us and we are protected, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Thank you for your blood that is still powerful in the mighty name of Jesus that we know you've answered us with thanksgiving in our heart in Jesus' name.